you came across this question in the jump exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now let's solve together the question says the type of alkanol represented by the structure below is this is the structure below so they are asking us to get what type of alkanol is this alkanol can be of four types alkanol can be primary alkanol can be secondary alkanol can be tertiary or alkanol can be quaternary do you understand the point so they're not asking us what type of alkanol is this now to solve this question is very easy now from the look of things this particular question is from the expert in chemistry which is called organic chemistry so first of all we have to be able to identify compounds that are alkanol and for we to do this we have to have we have to know the general formulas for alkanol and it's simply what we call arrow bond oh so organic compounds with this functional group which is oh functional group which is called the hydroxyl functional group or we can as well just call it alkanol basically it can exist in different forms so i'll be teaching you how you can actually know the type of alkanol a compound can be now what you have to look at you have to basically look at the compound and locate the direction of this group called the hydroxyl group i believe you can see it here now next thing you watch out for you watch out for the carbon to which this group is directly attached to i believe you can see that this group is directly attached to this carbon now this is where you have to actually listen carefully now to be able to know the type of alkanol a compound can be you check the carbon now if that carbon listen this is the carbon bearing the functional group so if that carbon bearing the functional group is directly attached to to now first of all let me start from the beginning if that carbon bearing the functional group is directly attached to one carbon one carbon will say that alkanol is simply called a primary alkanol and is represented as one not do you understand so for instance listen carefully now you know look at ch3 actually it's supposed to be something like ch3 do you understand because it's carbon that is actually bonding with carbon not something like this but this is the way they actually write most compounds do you understand my point but it's actually supposed to be that the other format i wrote because it is this carbon and this carbon that is bonding together hope you are getting my point so let's say if this carbon bearing the functional group is just directly attached to this carbon we are looking at so let's just change the format and say it's h3c which is c same as ch3 we simply say and here we just remove it to be h for instance so this carbon bearing the functional group so read this carbon bearing the functional group is directly attached to just one carbon we say that alkanol is the primary alkanol but let's progress now remember it was ch3 initially so in this context you can see that in this carbon bearing the functional group now is now directly attached to how many carbons directly two carbons what do we say we say that alkanol is a secondary alkanol do you understand so and remember this is what they gave us to answer so the type of alkanol represented by the structure below is what is what we've agreed that it is what a secondary because it was attached to two carbons directly hope you are getting the point it's actually very very easy let's say for instance this place we have the h no h here we had something like ch3 just listen carefully so you can see that this carbon bearing the functional group is directly attached to how many carbons directly three three we'll simply say it is a tertiary it is what a tertiary alkanol which is very very easy so from this question give it to us let's change it back you can see this is what they give to us and this compound is directly attached to how many carbons directly the carbon rather is directly attached to how many carbons directly two we we'll simply say that this compound is what a secondary 
out canal very very easy this is a likely jam question so you have to watch out for it now it doesn't really matter how the type of compound they give to you all that matters here you understand how to get which compound is a primary secondary or tertiary alkanol if it was container it's going to be four carbons directly do you understand it's actually very easy four carbons directly attached to that carbon bearing the functional group so that's for container. do you understand for which is option d but my point here is this no matter the type of family of organic compound given to you you can actually solve it without stress here can be anything here can be alkanoic acid here can be alkanol here can be alkanones here can be ethers here can be esters also called alkanoids do you understand so no matter how you are giving you can you can actually solve it if you understand what i just said and it's very easy so get ready for your own practice question okay now if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click on the subscribe button to this channel and also share these lessons with your friends thanks for watching okay guys this is your own practice question it's actually very easy so tell me what type of alkanol is this now what did i say remember you watch out for where the group is located and look for the carbon bearing it and you mark it out and then now look at how many carbons is directly attached to that carbon bearing the functional group look at the word directly attached don't pay attention to what is not directly attached to that carbon bearing the functional group i believe you understand what i'm saying so do well to provide the answer in the comment section and thanks for watching.